welcome to Growing with the Griffins. I'm Cassidy. And I'm Taylor. And today we're talking about designing your garden space. Now, if you haven't watched our videos on how to discover your dream garden or how to, how to create a garden map, you're going to want to go back and watch those. And if you already have, then let's get into designing your garden. This is my favorite step. I'm the kid in the candy store in this step. This is where you're gonna take out your vision board. You're gonna look through again. You're gonna figure out what are your themes? What are the things that you want to feel when you're in your garden? For this project, our client really wanted to feel like they could meander through the garden. They wanted like little secret garden moments, little seating places, vignettes, little moments throughout the garden. So those are some of the things that we're looking for when we start designing this space. Now, from a, a practical side, uh, we like to avoid walking on the actual like garden bed. The more you walk on the soil, the more you compact it, and the harder it is actually for plants to grow. So a practical thing that we want is to create paths that allow our client to be able to walk around the garden bed and reach into the garden bed, but not have to walk on it. So we're gonna take the practical need of having paths around the garden beds and our clients desire to feel like they can meander through their garden and we're going to combine those things and create all these fun little pathways throughout the garden. Our second parameter is we want this garden to be drought tolerant. We only get about nine inches of rain where we live and about 21 inches of snow and so we really need these plants to be able to kind of sustain themselves. They can't do a lot of hand holding. So this means that we're going to pick more native plants, things that are already adjusted to this climate and these temperatures. Our third parameter is that we want to save money. So that means that we're going to start a lot of these plants from seed. This is my favorite thing. I love starting plants from seed. It's just incredible how a whole plant comes from this tiny little seed and it's huge and beautiful. I'm really excited to do this and saving money is great, but I also probably would start from seed anyway. Some plants we're going to take cuttings or divide. So they have a beautiful hosta plant that we're going to divide, and they have a beautiful lavender plant that we're going to take cuttings from, and we're going to propagate that way. So we're excited to do that as well. And then the final thing is we will buy a few bare root plants and bulbs, as well as some potted plants in the spring. Not a, a lot because they are more expensive, but we'll save our few things that we can't start from seed and we'll get those in the spring. So here are some of the big questions. How do we know what we want to plant? How many and where in the garden? Our step one is to just make a list of all the plants that you already know and love. Step two is take a look at your yard and see if there are any plants that you can take cuttings from or somehow propagate from and use those to establish new plants. Step three is asking, what is your main theme? So for us, we're creating a drought tolerant garden that will sustain itself fairly easily. Perhaps for you, you want a garden that has plants that you can make natural dyes from. Or maybe you want to grow an abundance of food. You need to ask that question and that will really help you decide what plants you actually want to grow. And step four is that you want to really think about your beneficials. And this is an often skipped step. These are plants that are dynamic accumulators that draw up a lot of nutrients from the soil. They're biomass producers and pollinator attractors. And these plants help fill out your garden as well as perform some really helpful functions in the garden. And they'll help you create a holistic system even just within your yard. So here's the plants that we have picked for this garden. Our first category is that we're going to take cuttings or divide this, these plants. So that is uh, comfrey, a lavender, and hostas. From seed, that's a much longer list. So we're going to grow yarrow and nettles, borage, echinacea, and a different type of lavender, bee balm and agastache, creeping thyme and ladies mantle, feverfew and rutabecchia, Baptista and Golden Alexander, Cupid Star and Blazing Star, Pearly Everlasting, Salvia, Chives, and Sage. The bare roots and the bulbs that we're going to plant in the fall, we're going to plant peonies, aster, daffodils, tulips, alliums, 
Dutsia. Plants we're gonna buy in the spring are gonna be butterfly bush, we're gonna buy a non-invasive variety, Russian sage, and hydrangeas. Now that you know all the plants that you want in your garden, where do you plant them? Well, we recommend that you start with the middle beds. These will be your focal point. We started out with three beds that span the middle of the yard. We initially were gonna put hydrangeas there, but when we were out in the yard, we realized how hot it, it actually gets out there and thought the hydrangeas wouldn't survive. Another plant we really like are butterfly bushes, but they're invasive. However, there is a newer variety that was developed at North Carolina State University that is not invasive. So these butterfly bushes won't spread in the way that other varieties will. And we're gonna use these bushes as the main attraction and then build around them. We used a landscape template to help us see how much space we had as we drew in these different plants. Um, here's how we planned the first three beds. Here's how we designed the beds next to them. Designing your garden is a lot easier when you put limitations on yourself. We found the limitation of selecting mostly perennials that we're gonna grow from seed that are drought tolerant to be a great limitation that actually helped us start picking all of our plants. You can find our complete plant list on our blog as well as a list of where we're gonna buy them from. Now it's your turn to design your garden. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe.